What's up, YouTube? Cold Ass Ice Princess coming at you from Minnesota, and today I'm in the kitchen. I'm going to be cooking falafels for dinner, so I thought I'd show you how to do it. So here are the ingredients that I'll be using for my falafels for dinner tonight. Um, I have two peppers. I have some baking powder. I have some garlic. I have some yellow onion and also green onion. I have mint. I have parsley. I have cilantro. I have lemon over here. And I have chickpeas. These are what I'm going to use. You could also use fava beans if you have fava beans. Um, I have chickpeas. So you know what? Just use what you have in your kitchen to make your dinner your way. So guys, these are the dry spices that you will also need to make your falafels. I mean, you could use any variation that you may have in your home. Over here, it's cumin. Um, black pepper cumin seeds, salt, turmeric, falafel spice, and coriander powder. So that's what I'm going to use to make my falafels. And I just sort of measured with these spoons over here, but then again, I sort of didn't. So you guys are going to need a food processor in... You know what, this is just a little one that I got from Walmart, and I really do need the big one. Hint, hint, if anybody out there wants to get a girl a Christmas gift or a birthday gift, my birthday's in January, hey. <laughs> so, what you got to do is um, start putting your chickpeas, your seasonings, and your vegetables inside the food processor, and then start, you know, doing the little things so it can get grated up. So I'm going to just start with a little bit, a little bit at a time of everything. And then I'll just mix it all together um, in a bowl. So let me see how I'm going to do this. Put some of the mint. Put the garlic. Some of the tomato. So this is going to be a process for me because my um, thing is small. So I'm not adding water as you guys can see because you don't want your falafels to be wet because if it's too wet, it ain't going to cook right. It ain't going to be right. And um, so what I'm going to do is turn off the camera and finish doing this process because as you can tell, it's going to take a while with this little big thing I got. So I'm just about done with this tedious process. I got the last of my chickpeas in here. Um, this right here, the last of the chickpeas, and I also wanted to, um, I wanted to show y'all what the chickpeas look like, so let me, let me get up here, okay, this is what the chickpeas look like, and what I do is, I soak them overnight, soak them overnight, in some warm water and just cover the cover the bowl up and just let them soak up the water so um I, I i don't recommend using the chickpeas that come in a can because it'll make your falafel too um too moist and you can add flour to it if you want to but i just don't like um i don't like a lot of flour in mine because it just it, it gives it that doughy taste and i don't like that doughy taste if you know what i mean so I'm going to just finish up this last little bit. This is the last little bit all grounded up. When you get the last little bit grounded up, just go ahead and put it in the rest of the bowl with the rest of the mixture. I had to do it in like four or five parts because my little food processor is so small. 
And you know what, too? If you make a lot, you can freeze this. You can, like, put it in a, um, a Ziploc bag or, like, um, a saran wrap and do, you know how when you make a lot of cookies around Christmas time and you roll the cookies up and then um, roll it with the saran wrap and you can put this in the freezer. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my seasonings in. Remember the seasonings were the black pepper, the cumin seeds, the salt, the turmeric, the falafel spice, the coriander, and the cumin. And I just eyeballed this. So I'm going to get this stirred up. I don't want to forget about the lemon. So get your lemon. Oh. And squeeze your lemon. 